A New Jersey tire importer recalled nearly 450,000 tires bought from a Chinese manufacturer and then sold to U.S. distributors. Lawyers for a man who survived this deadly accident near the Poconos last year blamed tire tread separation. The tires came from Foreign Tire Sales Incorporated of Union, New Jersey. The manufacturer in China removes a key safety feature, gum strip. That gum strip keeps the tread and the belt together. When the vehicle is traveling down the highway without a gum strip, it will allow the tread and the belt to separate, essentially resulting in complete tire failure. You can hear more from the attorney during a live interview coming up at 7.50 this morning. And you can find the names of the affected tires on our website. Just go to myfoxphilly.com. You'll find everything you need to know on the website. All right, a New Jersey distributor recalled nearly a half million tires. Lawyers for a man involved in a deadly accident say tread separation caused it to happen. How they know that and what they say caused it to happen. We'll have a live interview in about 10 minutes. A New Jersey tire importer recalled nearly a half a million tires that it imported from China and distributed to the U.S. that was distributed to the U.S. and it happened uh, all happened as a result of, of a deadly acid accident last year, excuse me, which lawyers blame on tread separation. The lawyer representing a man who survived that crash joins us from the newsroom. Jeff Colino is here. Thank you for joining us this morning. Morning, Clayton. So, Jeff, first of all, trying to look at this and trying to figure out who's culpable, I guess that's what you're trying to do right now. Is it the manufacturer or is it, uh, are there government regulations that are involved in this that need to be checked? You ask about culpability, and culpability starts at the top. The manufacturer, HZ, in China, they're the ones who secretly and intentionally removed the safety feature in these tires. Had that feature not been removed, the fatal crash would not have occurred, the brain injury wouldn't have occurred, none of this would have happened. How prevalent is this? I mean, I know they put out the recall, but then when the company has to come back and say, look, we have these tires, is it their fault that they brought them into the country in the first place? Or where is the measure where we're able to say there's some sort of standard for goods coming in from China? Absolutely. Every distributor, every wholesaler, and even every tire retailer across the country, if you put these tires on the road and someone is fatally injured, they're responsible as well. They have an obligation to America, to the consumers, to make sure they put safe tires on the road. <clears throat> So where do you take this next in the case? How, how are you going to move forward with this? Well, we're pressing. We've written a, cons uh, a request for a consumer advisory to NHTSA. We're going to proceed against the Chinese tire manufacturer, HZ, and, a, and get a punitive damage award so we can send the message to China and the world. You cannot dump unsafe products on American consumers. Well, dumping them is one thing, but when we have open shores and we allow some of that dumping to happen at the government level, what sort of recourse do Americans have? And that's the, that's the problem. The NHTSA regulations have gaping holes. They allowed these tires to come into this country without a bond. That means that even now when we're pressing for a recall, we have a limited recourse against HZ, and they're so brazen. They haven't agreed to do the recall, they haven't participated in the recall, and they're even now refusing to come to the United States and talk to NHTSA. Hmm. Well, Jeff Colino, we'd like you to keep us updated on this case as it moves forward and in the coming months. Would you come back and update us? Absolutely. All right, thank you for coming in this morning. Thanks. Thank you.